So the new prayer is, do not abandon us to temptation. That's the new Pope Francis version. Not at all the Greek. In fact, you can see the Greek word on the screen. Um, it means to carry in, to lead into, to bring into. It does not mean abandon. doesn't mean that. doesn't mean that. And in my layman's opinion, I'm not, I'm not a cardinal. I'm not a church father. Uh, like I said, I'm just a dad with the webcam right here. But I just don't think it's the role of the Pope, the Vicar of Christ, to uh, revise the most sacred prayer of the Master. He, you're the Vicar of Christ, you're not Christ. Unfortunately, when you change the liturgy, as Pope Francis says, and here's what he, cha here's what he changed it to, do not abandon us to temptation. In a way, by changing the language, you are granting that the old meaning was wrong or confusing. You're saying, well, lead us not into temptation is a faulty way of saying it. And as soon as you say that, you're condemning almost 2,000 years of prayer and liturgical language. We cannot do that. We cannot do that. What we do is we clarify and explain the language. But by changing the words, which has no precedent in Latin and no precedent in the original Greek. This is translation out of thin air by Pope Francis. The original version is, lead us not into temptation. And the word literally, literally, if you look it up in a dictionary, it means lead to, into, or carry. Now, Here's the word right here. That prefix, all right, it looks to you like an E and I and then kind of like an O with a little tail on it. That's actually a sigma in lowercase. E-I-S. Ice. That means in Greek, into. It literally means into. That's what that word, that prefix means. So if you look at the, for example, let me show you the Latin. I'm going to put the normal card up. I didn't have this ready. So you're looking, the Potter Noster is the first paragraph. And if you look at the very last line, et ne nos in ducas in tentationem, et means an, ne means not, nos means us, we, in ducas, in tentationem, in tentationem means in temptation. So the word we're looking at here that Pope Francis doesn't like that he changes in ducas. All right, in, guess what in means, the prefix, in, into. In dukas here um, is where we get the word duke. So what's a duke? He's a leader. That's what duke means in Latin. Um, we have, in your house, you have air ducts. What do air ducts do? They lead air throughout your house. That's what a duct does. All right, so in dukas means literally lead into. So, and lead us not into temptation. And that's exact, it's, the Latin is reproducing the Greek word exactly, literally. So the Latin and the Greek correspond right on top of each other. The objection is, well, this makes it sound like God might lead us or set us up into temptation. And we have to ask ourselves, well, if the Latin, the original Latin and the original Greek say this, is Christ teaching us an error? Or do we need to change the way we're understanding it? My fear with the Pope Francis new translation in Italian is that he is implying, it's implicit, it's not explicit, but it's implicit that what we have prayed in Greek and Latin for 2,000 years is wrong or misleading. And that just can't be. It can't be that Thomas Aquinas was praying the Lord's Prayer wrong. It can't be that every Mass from in Latin from Pope Damasus up until today was wrong, saying the wrong prayer, the wrong word. So, as for me in my house, we will say, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil.